Hello, my name is Peter Parfit and welcome to the New Brit Workshop. Now I'm going to tell you about a, a PATH product which has been around for a little while but I don't think I've made a video about it. It's the length stop for guide rails. Now before I actually go into detail about this let me give you one bit of background. Now it wasn't so very long ago I was trying to cut a whole bunch of drawer bottoms made out of this sort of thinnish plywood uh, all at once so that they were all going to be the same size and it was much quicker and easier to do. So I set myself up with my uh, little fences here, guide rail, etc., on my uh, track saw cutting station created with a path guide system, of course. And uh, of course, I put these against here, and then the top couple uh, were not against the fence here, which is a real nuisance. And uh, I mentioned this to Axman, so they said, well, we can solve that. Uh, it's a, a problem that other people have mentioned. We'll introduce a new path product. And here we have the uh, length stop. Now, it consists of a fence piece, which is here. It's quite a big, uh, it's quite tall, extruded piece of aluminium. It, it has a length stop here, which can be positioned and fixed in place. In order to fix this at the place where you want it, there is a stick-on scale which you can stick on and get it in the right place uh, when uh, you're setting things up. I'll show you that in a minute. There are a couple of special dogs which allow the rail to be fixed in place, these tall things here. And these uh, special tall dogs are held in place from underneath uh, with these uh, little knobs here. There are also a pair of discs here which are used, and I'll show these in a minute, uh, for providing an extra bit of stop, and I'll show you that uh, shortly, and these are fixed in place with these low profile dogs here. And of course you get a set of instructions. Now setting this up is very, very simple. We're going to start by sliding these two special dogs with their connectors onto the rail. And I want to position the actual dogs in a pair of my holes, like so. So I've done that, that's there, that's there, they've gone down well. And I'm going to take the two screw knobs and uh, then get ready to fix uh, these in place, going in underneath there. So that's those two tall dogs firmly in place, but at the moment I can still move the fence. And so I now need to decide where I want this to be positioned. Now, the width of the Festal guide rail is 186 millimeters. And it may be, of course, you don't have a Festal one, you've got a different make, which will be a different uh, width altogether. However, this is what I've got. And it says in the instructions that when applying this adhesive steel tape, uh, which gives you your measurement markings, uh, to organize it so that this end is at 186. Well, that would imply that this is butting up against your guide rail. Uh, I, I don't think that that's the best of ideas. And what I would suggest is that you arrange to have this at 190 on the edge. And if that's a festal guide rail, uh, you have to make your own decision if it's something else. And 190 would bring this edge of the uh, fence uh, about four or five millimeters away from the back edge of the guide rail. And that means that they'll never interfere with each other as you're moving it to and fro. So I'm going to deploy the tape now. And this doesn't have to be absolutely accurately positioned. It's nice to get it about right. And the reason for that is that uh, once the tape is on there, uh, we can still adjust its position, which means that we can then adjust it so it's perfect in relation to the cutting edge of the guide rail, so that the measurement on the fence is going to be absolutely spot on. So I'm going to set it up so that my tape is at 190 millimeters from here. Now the tape that I've been supplied, and I'm sure yours will be the same, is hugely long. It's, <laughs> I think it's three meters in length. So I'm gonna cut mine on the 190 mark, just there. Now I've scored that many times, and now that will break away nicely. I'm just going to cut the, the sticky back. So that's my spare piece. That might come in handy for something. Who knows? So I can now remove some of the tape backing and I can now start to stick this onto uh, the fence. 
And at this stage, it doesn't need to be hugely accurate, remember, because we can move the fence to and fro uh, when we come to do the calibration. So that's the tape firmly stuck on. And a better way of cutting is with a pair of uh, shears like these. These are designed for cutting metal. But I showed you how you could do it by scoring it with a, a knife if you don't have a nice pair of shears like these. So there we go. But I'm going to keep what's left over. That could be really useful. Now for the setup process, I want you to look closely at the stop here. Now this part of the end stop, when it's in that position there, uh, is what you push your piece of stock against. And in setting up this stop so you can cut to a given length, uh, you look for the intersection of this surface here with the measurement on the tape. And I'm now setting this exactly on the 500 millimeter mark. So with my stop set at the 500 millimeter mark, and bearing in mind this can still move here, I'm now going to take my steel rule and I'm going to slide it underneath my guide rail. The guide rail's held against the tall dogs here. And I'm going to set this so that this end of the steel rule is on the cutting line of the guide rail and it's on the 500 millimeter mark. And now I'm going to go here and I'm going to push this until it just meets that stop just meets the, the end of the steel rule. I'll just check there. Yes, I'm on the 500 there, spot on. And that is spot on there. So I now know that when I cut with my saw, it's going to cut at the 500 millimeter mark. So I'm now going to take a five millimeter hex key. And I'm just going to put it in here. Tighten that one, and there's another one at this far end. Put that in there, tighten it up. And that's now absolutely rock solid. And I now know that when this is set at whatever figure it is, and currently it's at 500, I will be cutting that length using my guide rail. So all I've got to do now is just show you what the other few bits and pieces they supply can do. Now, it may be that when you're cutting your stock, that you would rather underneath the guide rail that it was supported so it had something to push against. So in the kit are a pair of these path locator dogs. You can put one of those in there like so. Put one of these discs on top and screw in like so. So you've now got something which does react the stock underneath the guide rail. Now the reason there are two of these is because your stock may be only just touching the end of the fence here, but you need to have it supported. Well, we've got the one which is underneath the guide rail, that's fine, but it might be useful to have another one up here, like so. And that then gives you your stock supported here. And they, these have to be this uh, diameter because of the way this fence is constructed. So that gives you the ability to support stock all the way across your bench. Well I hope this introduction to the UJK length stop or new fence uh, with calibration has been useful. I can now do my multiple cut of all these little pieces of plywood uh, with them all being supported at the back. And there they all are, of the same length. Many thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>